Hello everyone, this is Montasir from Acolio Pets. In today's video, we are going to talk about a very, very important topic for shrimp keepers and that is unsuccessful molting of shrimps. And this is predominantly the major cause for shrimp death. So, um, what is unsuccessful molting of shrimps? For that to know, we will have to first understand why shrimps molt. So, molting is a physiological process for shrimps or any crustaceans. They actually leave their old skeleton and grow a new one. So, this is actually called molting. Kind of like I'm wearing this t-shirt now. So, if I were to grow, you know, a couple inch taller, then this shirt will not fit me anymore. So, I'll have to change this t-shirt and get a new one that will fit my body. So, that's what shrimps do. When they grow, when they grow larger in sizes, so they have to um, remove their old skeleton, old covering of the body and grow a new one that will fit their larger size. And this whole process is actually called molting. And a shrimp can go through many, many moltings uh, during its lifetime. Now, this molting stage is very, very crucial for shrimps because the molting process can often become unsuccessful and in that case almost all shrimps will die if there is something a uh, problem with the molting the shrimp there's a very high chance that the shrimp will die okay so now uh, i'm going to tell you what is the uh, major disease or major um, unsuccessful molting event what is that called okay so it is known as white ring of death um, so how does that happen and why it is such named white ring of death? So when a shrimp molds, when it actually uh, gets out of its uh, old exoskeleton, um, the process occurs like this. Water starts to enter into the exoskeleton um, between the shrimp body and the exoskeleton. And as water in, uh, enters uh, that space, the exoskeleton gets loose and the shrimp wriggles itself, it bends itself into a U position. And thus so the shrimp eventually gets out of its old exoskeleton and then forms a new one. Okay. And this exoskeleton first starts to break apart from the neck area of the shrimp. Now, during a unsuccessful molting, in most cases, the exoskeleton doesn't break apart from one point in the neck area. It breaks apart uh, in a circle around the whole neck area. Thus, it kind of uh, uh, resembles like a circle. And inside the circle, the shrimp flesh gets exposed okay so the as the white flesh gets exposed inside the circle between the shrimp head and the rest of its area uh it it looks a uh, white circle and that's why it's called white ring of death now if a shrimp phases white ring of death it's actually very very crucial uh, very very dangerous and in most cases you can't do anything to save the shrimp now why these molting failures occur what are the reasons right so many people think um, a diet rich in protein is actually the uh, core reason behind these kinds of issues but i disagree with that now let me tell you why people think protein is the culprit here uh, if you feed your shrimps a protein-rich diet, the shrimps will grow faster, right? So proteins help the shrimp grow faster. So as the shrimp goes very fast, it of it goes through more molting phases. Uh, uh, in opposed to, uh, you know, a slow slow grow, uh, growth rate. So if I'm growing faster, then I'll have to change the dress more often, right? So that's the case for the shrimp too. If it gets, if it grows too much at a fast rate, then it will have to go through molting too often. And as the shrimp has to go to uh, go through too many molting, then chances happen like one or two molting event, uh, molting will be unsuccessful, and that's how the shrimp might die. But I personally don't agree with it because um, many, many experienced shrimp breeders throughout the world actually feed their shrimps a very protein-rich diet, um, about 40 to 47 percent protein in the diet. So it's actually uh, very healthy for the shrimps, for the shrimp babies, and it helps them to grow. Uh, it helps them to thrive in their uh, setup. Um, I also know many, many um, successful breeders that feed their uh, shrimps a protein-rich diet. So I don't think protein is actually the main culprit here. So what's the culprit? 
So the first reason is that shrimps go through fridge molting is uh, if you do a too large or too often water change. So when you are uh, doing a too large water change, like 80% water change, then the parameters inside the water gets, you know, uh, outside of the ideal range for the shrimp. So the pH might get very low or very high. The GH or KH might get very low or high. So when the parameters of the water doesn't fall inside the ideal range for shrimps, then the shrimps will face molting problems and other physiological problems too. That's why uh, shrimp breeders never suggest too many or to um, high water change okay uh, so if you, you do need to pro uh, provide water changes but make sure you are not changing or replacing more than 25 percent of water at a time okay and i also recommend if the uh, bio load of the tank is low then you should not do water changes every week especially for a shrimp tank you can do it for every other week okay so uh, this can be uh, a major reason another reason can be too low or too high calcium content in the water. Now, uh, shrimps need calcium uh, for successful molting. Actually, the shell of the shrimp is mainly made of calcium contents. Okay, so when there is very low calcium content in the water, then the shrimp might, uh, you know, can't grow the they grow their shell properly because there is not much calcium content, calcium carbonate inside the water. And that's how, that's why the shrimp might uh, face a molting problem. Also, if calcium content is too high, then the shrimp will face molting problem too. Because when calcium content is too high, the exoskeleton will get very, very firm. In that case, the shrimp will find it very hard to get out of the old exoskeleton and start and uh, form a new one. So calcium carbonate uh, or the cal total calcium content in the water needs to be in an ideal range and you can measure that through GH. GH actually stands for general hardness. It measures the calcium content and magnesium content in the water. So the GH needs to be in the ideal range for the specific shrimp species you are keeping. If it is not in the ideal range, then this kind of molting uh, failures can happen. So how do you um, ensure the shrimps have proper amount of calcium carbonate or if the GH is low, how do you provide your shrimps with calcium? So one way is you can uh, provide uh, shrimp salt to the tank. So there are many brands that sell uh, shrimp salts like Shrimp King Mineral and these salts ensure that the water parameters have all the necessary salts that are required for your shrimps that is one way you can also offer your shrimps calcium through other ways like uh, you will find cattle bones in uh, pet stores or in uh, bird shops because birds eat these kinds of cattle bones and you can take a piece of cattle bone and make a powder out of it and offer that uh, to the shrimps the shrimps will enjoy it and they will get the necessary calcium from it but if you don't find a uh, cattle bone inside your uh, local pet store then just take an eggshell and crumble it up then put that eggshell on a baking tray and uh, heat it up for about a minute or two so all the bacteria dies for in that uh, eggshell and then take that eggshell out make a powder out of it and feed that eggshell to your cherry shrimps or any other shrimps and this can also supplement your shrimps with the necessary calcium that your shrimp needs okay also uh, one way you can prevent these kinds of molting failures is by providing your shrimps a varied balanced diet so shrimps need all kind of nutrients and minerals to thrive properly if you're offering your shrimps only one kind of food or if your shrimp is living on um, from only algae and bio biofilm inside the tank then the shrimp will not get all the necessary nutrients and vitamins from those algae and biofilm so the shrimps might face this kind of molting failures that's why you should offer your shrimps a very good uh, commercial food from a reputed uh, brand make sure the, uh, that commercial food contains all the necessary vitamins minerals for shrimps and that food is specifically made for shrimps okay also once or twice a week you can offer your shrimps blanched vegetables 
shrimps enjoy kale zucchini cucumber all of these vegetables just make sure you blanch them before offering them to the shrimps because the vegetable needs to be soft for the shrimps to eat and these are some of the way you can enrich your enrich the diet of your shrimps so the shrimps can get all the necessary vitamins and minerals uh, from the food and through these ways you can actually lower the chances of unsuccessful molting so this is today's video i hope you have liked the video if you have any more question let me know in the comment box below i hope i will see you in the next video till then take care bye